Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Star Wars Trade Federation MTT, the Multi Troop Transport. So Hasbro's been doing this thing the last few years where every year they come out with this big, giant vehicle for their Star Wars line. It started off with the big Millennium Falcon, which was an incredible beast of a toy. Then the year after that, we got the huge AT-AT. And now we've got the MTT. Now the difference here, of course, is that both of those other vehicles focused on some of the more iconic pieces from the original trilogy. This is our first really large-scale vehicle based on the prequel trilogy. Of course, the MTT coming straight out of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. This is the vehicle we saw deliver all of the battle droids to the Great Battle of Naboo. You remember all of those really cool Gungans led by the awesome Jar Jar Binks fighting all the battle droids. <laughs> yep, that's this thing right here. This beast is what brought all of those battle droids into battle against the Gungans. So, let's take a look at this thing, check out all of the features, everything it comes with, and find out if it's something that you want to pick up and add to your collection. So first things first, let's take a look at the huge box that this thing comes in. Of course, it's a big vehicle, so it's got to have a big box, and it is a really nice design. Of course, it's great that it kind of goes in with the whole anniversary of the Phantom Menace, fits in with the packaging we've had all year long that has Darth Maul prominently featured on the top. Uh, most of the box has a nice bright white motif, but it does have some really cool artwork on there showing off the actual MTT multi-troop transport, lots of battle droids going into battle. It's a really beautiful piece. I do always love seeing awesome artwork like this on boxes. Box art is sort of a lost form these days, and I do love that the Star Wars brand still continues that with the vehicles, and these big boxes are no exception. Very cool. You'll see it does have lots of blurbs on there, lets you know that this thing does include 20 battle droids, which is very cool, and we'll get to that in just a bit after we open it up. And then you take a look at the back of the box there, and it shows you some of the cool features that this beast of a vehicle has. All right, now, when you pull this thing out of the box, there is some minor assembly, but it's not too bad. For the most part, this thing is already intact. You don't have to really put a lot together. Uh, there are a few things you need to kind of pop on. Mostly, it's just some of the opening panels and compartments. There is a sheet of included instructions that will help guide you through that process. It's not a very big sheet of instructions, because like I said, not a lot to assemble, which is very nice. Now, there is a small sheet of stickers includes about 21 stickers on there. It is <laughs> kind of a pain because most of the stickers are very, very tiny. And when you're putting the stickers on, you're having to kind of squeeze into really small spaces to apply these really tiny stickers. So it is going to take a little bit of patience to put all those stickers on. But once you get all the stickers on, you get all the panels assembled, you get this giant vehicle. Now, I will say that in comparison to the Millennium Falcon and the AT-AT, it's not quite as big as those. Don't get me wrong, it's still a big vehicle. This thing measures about two feet long and about one foot tall. And once the actual little rack comes out that's holding all the battle droids, it extends it about another foot, meaning it measures about three feet long. So it is still a big vehicle, just not quite as big as that Millennium Falcon. That Falcon was huge, <laughs> but this is still nicely sized. Now, before we get into any of the action features, looking at all that, let's go ahead and take a look at the design of the thing. I will say that it is a very solid piece. Uh, it feels nice and sturdy. It's not fragile feeling at all, and it has a lot of weight to it. It's actually quite heavy, um, so it feels like a nice, tough vehicle. It's not flimsy or loose or anything like that. It should really kind of hold up well. should have some great battles if kids want to play with it. It should hold up well, even if the adults want to play with it. Uh, you'll notice on the bottom, it does have some wheels. It's got six wheels kind of just spaced out on the bottom there, and you do have some nice details as well. It's all just a solid color brown, but you do have some great details in the sculpt on the bottom there, so it's not just a flat plastic going all the way across. And the wheels do work nicely too, so you get it on a nice flat surface, you can wheel this thing along, which of course is great if you're going to wheel this thing into battle. 
And just like the bottom there, there is some good sculpting all the way around. Now for the most part, it's just very simple browns in color. There's not a lot of extra paint detail or deco going on here. It's mostly the same color light brown, but you do have some darker brown panels that are uh, placed on there here and there. And then you do have a little bit of black detailing, such as in the ladder going up the side, some of the little vents. Um, like I said, not overly detailed, no washes or anything like that, but it looks nice. It's a got a good look to it, and it does a pretty good job of capturing the overall look of the MTT. Now you will see that there's lots of cool little details going on, and we do have some blasters, of course. Uh, you can see that they are able to rotate. You got little blasters on the front that can rotate, so that's always really nice. Uh, the ones at top do have the little push buttons that will fire missiles. Firing missiles on a Star Wars vehicle, I mean, that's classic, that's a must, we have to have those, right? Uh, always cool to see some firing projectiles on some of the Star Wars vehicles. And then this thing does have lots of cool opening compartments and hatches, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. But first, I want to show you the really cool motorized action feature. Now, one of the trends that Hasbro has really set with these big vehicles is that they always have really cool sounds or lights or something special that they do. And the MTT is no exception. So first and foremost, on the bottom, there is a battery compartment on the end here. It does take three AA batteries, which are not included, so you'll want to make sure you have your AA batteries. And then you'll notice that there is a nice on-off switch here, so that way you can turn this off when you're not using it. But you flip that on switch... And then on the top of the vehicle, you will see three buttons. The button on the left has an arrow pointing outwards. That's the button that we're going to use to actually activate the action feature, which is going to unload all of our battle droids. The button on the far right's got an arrow pointing backwards. That, of course, is going to be the button we press when we're ready to retract the battle droids. And then the button in the middle is just a sound effect button. It's going to show off some of the sound effects. So we'll start with that. You press that button there. kind of got like the driving noise, kind of like sounds like it's rolling across the, the terrain there. And when you fast press the button, you get more like blast effects. You got blaster shooting, explosions. And I will note that it's very loud. Uh, that's one thing I really like about it is the sound effects are loud and they're crisp. They sound great. Effects that sounds like they come right out of the film. Our shields are moving. And even better is we get battle droid voices. I mean, come on. You gotta admit, those voices are always hilarious. Getting to hear some Roger Rogers and stuff, I mean, that's like icing on the cake for this thing, am I right? <laughs> All right, let's get what you guys really wanna see. Let's see. There's something I should mention. <laughs> uh, once you kinda activate the buttons, you do kinda have some effects that just play randomly. So right there, you just kind of heard like the blaster effect, almost like there's battle droids running around shooting blasters in war. Uh, that will happen off and on after you activate the buttons until the, the machine kind of goes into a sleep mode where it stops doing sounds altogether. Uh, but once you kind of start pressing those buttons, it is going to do that from time to time. So let's go ahead and activate the battle droids in the front. So this front hatch is where it's going to extend out to unleash our battle droid. So all you gotta do is press this button on the top. Nice sound effects. And then we watch it open. It's got a great motorized effect. The latch opens, it extends outwards. And then it even drops off to the sides. You can see the two little carts. The two little carts come off to the side that are carrying the battle droids. Sets gently down on the ground. We got great battle droid noises telling us it's time to prepare to attack. And then you can see lined up are 16 battle droids ready for action. Now, the 16 battle droids that I've got positioned here are just 16 of the 20 that come with the set. So before we get into anything else on this, let's go ahead and talk about all of the action figures. Now, it does note that there are 20 battle droids that come with the set. Four of those battle droids are fully posable action figures. That means that they've got the ball jointed heads that roll around, the arms move up and down, and the legs move up and down. Uh, these are pretty much like a standard battle droid action figure. However, you'll notice that they are very basic. Uh, they just have a solid tan paint job. The only thing on there that's painted otherwise are the black of the eyes. There's no other added detail other than that. But these are the ones that can be posed around a little bit. They each do come with their own blaster, which of course is removable. 
The other 16 battle droids are basically static figures. You'll notice that the heads still are on a ball joint, the right arm is able to still move up and down, but the left arm and the legs do not move. They are completely in static poses, and they even have a little um, flat plate that is stuck to their feet, almost like a figure stand. So uh, these don't actually have any posability whatsoever in the legs, only the right arm and the head moves. Now they do also each come with their own blasters, which are the same blasters, and they're removable. Um, of course, I guess that kind of makes sense. You can't really expect a big vehicle like this to come with 20 fully posable figures, and these do still work well. It's great for at least building an army or, you know, setting up a cool display with a nice big army scene on there. At least it's kind of some filler for your display. So let's go ahead and take a look at the little racks that the battle droids are sitting on. Now, one thing that's cool about this is you don't have to use these battle droids for this if you don't want to. They don't have to be the static ones. There are two little peg hole, uh, I'm, yeah, two little peg holes for the feet inside each little compartment. And you notice the bottom just has the peg holes just like a regular standard action figure. So if you wanted to, say if you had a bunch of battle droids from the vintage collection or any battle droids in your actual Star Wars collection already, you can put the regular battle droids in here and they will work just fine. So if you have 16 battle droids ready to go and you'd rather use those for your troop transport here, you can put the regular battle droids in there and they will work. So you don't have to use the static ones that come with the set. So now once we got this out, you can put this back in and it does have a motorized feature to send that back in. So before we do anything else, let me show you how that works. You do have to do a little bit of manual work first. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab the little racks that the droids are on and clip them back up. You'll notice it'll click in place. Then you gotta bring the little awning back down over them, which does trigger sound effects and that will snap in place also. Now, once that is all locked up and ready to go, you just press that retract button and the battle droids will retract back in and the hatch comes back down and closes. Now, I will say it is very important that you do those first two steps before you press that button because if you don't close it all up and fold, <laughs> reinforcements have arrived. Whenever you're done, let me know so I can there, okay, so battle droids are blowing up and dying now. Anyway, if you don't close the awning before pressing the retract button, you're going to run into a problem with it trying to retract and it's not going to fit in. So you definitely want to make sure you compact it up, close it down before you hit that retract button. All right, so let's go and get these guys back out of here. Let's get ready for some more noise. Because now I'm going to show you some of the other features that are on this set. And I want to make sure we got some battle droids to do it. It's just really cool. I just I love watching it. It works so well. That is really fun. All right, now aside from the 20 battle droids, you do also get a standard Episode 1 Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. Now, the Obi-Wan figure has a blue lightsaber accessory, but otherwise is an incredibly basic figure. Uh, he's got a little real hair braid on there, but the head basically just turns left and right with articulation. The arms move up and down. He has a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the waist. The legs only move up and down. His tunic piece is a very hard plastic. The figure is very basic, not a lot of articulation. He's a little bulky. He kind of feels like a classic uh, episode one figure from the film's first release. So he's nothing too incredibly special, but does give you a 21st figure in the set. So it's crazy. It comes with 21 figures this set does. Uh, but I guess that way you've got a little Obi-Wan to come jumping in and battle all these battle droids with your set. Now, I mentioned before that there's lots of opening compartments on this, so there are a lot of other things you can do besides just the little uh, part opening in the front. First of all, the cockpit opens up in the top. And up there, you'll notice that there are three seats. And this is where a lot of your stickers went too. So there is a lot of cool little details sculpted inside there with some stickers. So that way you got lots of little control panels, little screens, all that little stuff going on in there. And there are three seats in there, so if you get your little actual fully posable droids, you can kind of get them sitting up there and you can have them piloting or driving the actual MTT transport and the little compartment lid does close down over them just fine while you've got all three of them seated on the inside there. 
Now also up here on the top, we have another hatch that opens on the back. This is more for storage. Uh, you'll notice if we get our droids standing up there that they are taller than it, so it's not like you can actually stand them in there and close the lid. Uh, but this does work good for storage. Maybe you got a lot of weapons or parts or something like that you don't want to lose. This is a great place to just kind of store some stuff and then close the lid down on it. And now on both sides, we have these fold down little compartments and it's exactly the same on both sides and we got a lot of really cool little details in there it's just got some silver plastic but it's sculpted really cool we do have some stickers in there and this is really neat because this area here can holster the blasters we have little pegs where all of their extra blasters can be holstered if you want to plus there is lots of room for the droids to stand up on the inside so this could be another spot where you transport the droids you can stick a bunch of them in there you can close up the lids on the sides you could really fit a bunch of droids in there so if you stuff both sides full of droids, you put some droids up in the cockpit, you've got 16 up here in the front, maybe you even just laid down a bunch in here, this thing really could transport a ton of battle droids ready, ready to go into battle. I think that is really cool. Now, this thing really does hold that many. Uh, it's great for play, it's great for storage, has multi-functions, which is really cool. Now, one of the final things I want to talk about on this is there are lots of little places where you can also stand these guys up. So if you want to use this for a display piece, maybe you want to set up a big battle scene. Hasbro definitely had that in mind for you. There are peg holes all over this thing. You fold down the side, you can see all these little peg pieces. There are little pegs sticking up off the top. All over here, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pegs right here on the top, and then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen on either flap. And they're evenly spaced apart, so even if you have the static droids that don't have the posability, you can still stand them all up on the sides. You can line them up, makes it look like there's a ton of troops coming out of the sides of the vehicles. You can line troops up on the tops of the vehicles and make it look like they're all over the tops. You got these cool little ladders on the sides which have handles that are perfect for the droids to grab onto. That way it looks like you got battle droids climbing up or down the side of the transport. This thing is seriously ready for you just to display on your shelf, on the floor with your kids. You want to play with it, you want to set up a battle scene in your Star Wars collection. This thing has got all of that in mind and I think that is what's really great. I think the folks at Hasbro always do a great job of keeping that sort of thing in mind. They know that this is for collectors and kids and they throw all of those different features in there so that everyone can enjoy it. So there you go guys, there's my look at the MTT, Multi Troop Transport. Like I said, Hasbro's really kind of been doing something special with all these big vehicles every year, and this being the third of the big vehicles, I think it's really a cool one, just like the others. Now, I know it's kind of got something going against it, being it's something from the prequels and it's something from Episode 1. Maybe the folks that picked up the other vehicles from the vintage original trilogy uh, aren't going to be as apt to go out and buy this one, but I will say that it's still a lot of fun. The motorized feature on the front works incredibly well. The sound effects are great. Lots of storage space to store figures, lots of display uh, spaces to display figures. I think this thing is seriously a lot of fun, and a lot of Star Wars collectors will really enjoy it. So the MTT is in stores right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.